this would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Let's go this way. Ah! <gasps> oh! Oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. Come on, I'll spot you. Is that a camera? Yeah. Maybe it's for the wildlife? Yeah. Trail cam. Makes sense. I think it's a ranger box. Oh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I heard this joke about artists. It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Hmm, why not? Because he always finished in one stroke. It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me about it. About golfers because of the stroke thing yeah sorry I don't know <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers that makes so much sense those kids have filthy minds <laughs> oh, just a bird just a bird oh I'm so sorry I've just been on a little just been a little edgy lately <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just the forest playing tricks on you. I used to go camping all the time with my dad and you think you hear and see some pretty weird stuff, but 
You just realize it's nature doing its thing. Did you just say thing? No, that's the forest up to its old tricks again. <laughs> I've never been camping. It's pretty nice if you open yourself up to it. So you have to be open-minded to enjoy camping? No, I just mean there's a lot of stuff you have to overlook. Like basic comfort. You really just have to try it. I could take you some time. If you want. Um, maybe. Let's just make it through tonight first. Yeah. I think we're back near the path again. know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Wow. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen, there's something there. Just mow me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs>
Guess we should head back. I finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Uh, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Whoa. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. 
I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh! Uh. We'll be good. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range... We're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she cuts all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was... it was okay. Hey! boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mmm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this like freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No! Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but... You're both very mean. <laughs> Blam. We thought this was over? What the... Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops.
Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can like make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but. Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... Uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Truth, I'm an open book. Okay, okay, let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? We were talking about her. The hat. Oh, brother. He asked me to stop telling ghost stories. Is all. You don't really believe that, do you? I try to look at things through a certain lens, no expectation or judgment. Look, do I believe there's a little old ghost lady floating around trying to eat people? Well, well um, but she eats people now? But it's kind of fun to imagine it, right? Just don't get eaten tonight. It, like, really put a damper on the mood. Do my best. All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. So, you and Jacob go way back, right? Like, since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But, it never went any further, cause he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo, still love you, bud. <laughs> okay, my turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then. Um, uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously?
Guys. Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was? It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob. Grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? As always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. It's stupid. It's stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? Thank you. 
Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. So, all that stuff back there... Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? Uh, I mean... Yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm hmm Should we look?
Isn't there any truth in there? It's a fun game. I never wanted to stop by. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yes, you found me that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing, never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah, oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. Chacket and Thacket, huh? Oh, well, Chacket must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thacket?
What are these numbers? Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake? <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Switch! Oh, stop being a uh, crap! Uh, attack! <laughs> Happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little pruning. Oh, you know what I mean, like, like this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay. Oh, look. How about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey. Where you going? Come on!
Jacob? Ugh, dick. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick. Go! Okay, I got this. Cool. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful.
Naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing?
Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Hmm. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Back to it then, back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have.